Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have another service call for a two pipe fan call unit. Got a retail space here under construction. And they're saying this unit doesn't work but it worked before. I'm uh, kind of having doubts that it did because something is weird. Like, look at this. <laughs> you got a cable here, cut, okay? And I see like the power lines and stuff like this coming in here or whatever, but what's controlling the temperature in here? It's just for this little entrance way. Cause look, this, this is the return air here, the filter. And this is the supply air. This is the hot water coil. They're all using this for heat. And this thing is blown against the wall here. Very strange. Oh, nice. They put a sprinkler pipe in the way in case you ever wanted to put a duct. Hmm. Beautiful. So forget about uh, putting a duct in here if you care about the... <laughs> if you care about that, you got a sprinkler pipe in the way. You're going to have to redo that if anything, but oh well. Um, if you watched my last video, I found a thermostat with the screen and buttons missing out of it. And that was a problem. So all we had to do was put in the thermostat, change the air filter, clean up around there. And it is what it is. But we also had a bad setup where the air was just blowing right against the wall. And there was like no space. So I don't see anything to control this. I'm really, it's gotta be the thermostat cable right here. And if they cut it like that, they could have fried this transformer. Let's see what we got here going on. Let's open up this right here. Power's coming in through here. All right, let's open this thing up and be careful. Something really weird is happening here. There's just no control over this unit. He, they said this worked before, unless someone was in here doing construction and they said, you know what? This wire's in my way. They just cut that thing out. I, we gotta see how this even works. All right. Behind this little thing was this wire and diagram. Let's see if that helps. Honestly, I like troubleshooting just by going through the wiring. This is definitely gonna come in handy. I'm gonna keep this for myself. Thank you very much. Okay, we got a transformer here. Primary can, it's, this is universal transformer. It could be 120, 208, 240, 277, and 480, and it steps it down to 24. There is a little switch here, and it's actually in the off position, so we're kind of sure we should be safe, but let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm opening all this. What is going on here? How does this work? If I go through the wiring, I will find out. So right, real quick, real quick, real quick right here this cable coming this right here i can see goes to there's an actuator on the other side so i'm not worried about that what else is coming in this wire here power so let me check let's start with this because looks like we got to start with the basics on this one thing is this is we do have oh this tripped i bet if we turn i just reset this so it tripped on the secondary side okay why is this thing hot This is probably gonna trip right now because cause it is. Uh, Daniel, let me get some wire cutters. Yeah. Let me get the, the Knipex ones. Okay. Snips, the snips I always use. Let me open this up because this is gonna be automatic trip right here if this is connected to this. I wanna follow these wires. Meter. Don't worry, it's 24 volts. Let's see, as far as power, let's go into those two wires. Make sure I get a good connection inside. That's 208 in there. If I turn that off, okay, power went off, but 
If you look on the switch here, it says it's on. When it's on, it's actually off. Jesus. No wonder this thing was hot. Open this damn thing up. Separate these wires, because this thing was shorted out. So this has got to be the thermostat cable. Okay, strip these back. And let's see what's connected to what. So on the transformer it says common is yellow and the 24 volt hot is yellow and white. So coming out of the transformer Where's the wires? Hold up, is this yellow and white? That's just, white goes nowhere. Everything is here, huh? So yellow? Did somebody screw these people and cut the wires? I don't see a yellow, where is it? Am I bugging or? I don't see a yellow. It's a bit tricky to see because there's a black sleeve coming out of it. But right here is your black. What the, wait. Right here is the yellow, which is my common, which is connected to red. Yeah, this, this has got to be the thermostat. Green wire is not being used. You got the snips over there? Green wire is not being used, so I'm cutting that. Get that out of my way. Get that out of my way. And then the black wire, where does that go? The black wire is also connected to my hotline. And then what that does, it goes to this rib relay to white and blue white and blue okay is one side of the coil for 24 volts one side of the coil and then there's the other side of the coil is common white and yellow white and yellow goes to here okay just so that's what energizes the coil of this rib relay and where's the other wires going that you see that that wire diagram is use is useless right now because this whole thing is hacked up. It'll help you to like figure out where you need to put the wires maybe, but hold on. White and black is if you're using 120 for the coil. You're not using that, that's normal. Then we have a solid blue wire. Solid blue wire would be your normally closed contact. That's not being used. Okay, so we should be using orange. Where is orange? Uh-huh, no, that's coming from here. Where's the orange from this? Orange is right here. So orange and then yellow. Who's yellow? Right here. Goes to the, it connects to two red wires. One red wire goes to the actuator. And then another red wire, I'm assuming these are the fan motors here. Okay. So that one relay is turning on both of these things. So we want, let's double check this again, because I'm just gonna bypass it just like this. There's no thermostat, there's no control here, as I thought. That was the thermostat wires <laughs> that were cut here on the side. So let's just go over this one more time. So black and red, right? Red goes to yellow on the transformer. Yellow is common red and then black goes to white and yellow which is your 24 all right so deciphering this mess right basically you need the, the thermostat of three wires uh, R C and W right so yellow one so black is your common 
and then red is your 24 hot so red is R black will be C and this white wire is basically if you, you're only using this for heat so you would use W so we're gonna jump over R to W okay I got a jumper cable right here connect this to the red and we're gonna send that to the white And I feel heat immediately. Let's see if we can get away with this thing. 113, 110. I'm like at a bad angle. But you clearly have heat 124 degrees, isn't it? I felt it there. I just wanted to show you guys. So Alright, this thing needs a thermostat, but this is the problem. The problem is where you're gonna run it everything is glass here where can i mount this thing no one's gonna there's no real space for this so i got a good idea here we can mount the thermostat right on to the unit right there technically you can kind of get away with it right there but there's a lot of heat up top so we could put in a digital thermostat there, a modern one, and then we can put a wireless, like a little sensor somewhere like here, somewhere that's like hidden. Wouldn't keep it on the outside walls for the glass because I feel like this area is going to get a lot colder. So we could put like a sensor somewhere here, and have it match where honestly no one's really going to notice. So I don't know what happened here, but clearly somebody cut I don't know why it happened here, but I know what happened here. They cut the thermostat cable and tripped the transformer. So, yeah, and we can't even duck this thing out. Is there a sprinkler pipe in the front of it? It is what it is. I doubt they're gonna redo that. I mean, blowing that super hot air on the sprinkler pipe doesn't sound like the best idea either. The sensor is right here. That's a bad, this is a bad freaking spot, spot, man. That doesn't look right. And any of you sprinkler guys watching this video, tell me what you think about this. You bounce that hot air across there, right over there. I mean, what the heck? They gotta move that pipe. Why they went all the way like this and moved around when they could have just came out right here? They really want, what is the point of get rid of all that? What is that for? Nothing, it's just in the way. Damn, that was stupid, man. They could have just came out right, why go all the way around this and block everything? Just come out and go turn there. Easy money, guys. Why they made the life harder? I'm telling you, they were following blueprints or something, and this is blueprints in reality. Freaking joke. Time to redo this, man. Work change over. I'm gonna give somebody a nice job right here. Sprinkler guy's gonna get a nice job from this. All right, so as far as here, my plan will be just Put in a thermostat it's really hot up there all the hot air is just bouncing up and heat rises if you remember guys best idea let's change the filter make sure everything is clean here we need to put in a thermostat but the problem is all these walls so we're going to mount the thermostat right on top over there and then we could put a sensor somewhere on this wall here and we could even have it controlled with wi-fi so nobody has to like run up top They'll have uh, all the information, I'll put it like a Honeywell thermostat, they can download the Honeywell home app and they'll be able to control it with their phone if they ever want to turn it on or off, set temperature or, or whatever they would like to do. But if we put, leave, just leave the thermostat there, that thing's going to shut down immediately because it's super hot up there. It's probably like, feels like 100 degrees where Daniel's standing. So he's just checking out the wiring for now. So that's the plan. Change your filter, put in the thermostat with a wireless sensor. Tell these guys to move this freaking uh, <laughs> sprinkler pipe. That sounds crazy. Reroute it this way. Same difference. The light being over there really is not the greatest idea because that's also going to be in the way of the duct. Move that light maybe here. And the return air, at least it's not going to be in the way of a duct. And duct this thing down. You just like feel like you're just wasting energy here. But that's pretty much the plan. Interesting finds, guys. Interesting finds.
guys, just real quick before we finish this video, I am blown away by this thing right here. This tiny little unit, there's two of them here, are actually heating up this whole space with all these windows and super tall ceilings. My gosh, I think it's a beast. I underestimated this little thing. Got only one here on this side and one on that side and this place is warm. And it's just over, it's like 35 degrees out. This place is warm. Wow, you know, we're in the 70s here. Unbelievable. That's awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much the story here. We're gonna have to do a follow-up video on this one, but that's pretty much the story. We're gonna wrap this video up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.